Hey Floss Tube, it's Cindy, the Scrappy Chick, and today is Wednesday, July 17th. It is my eldest's birthday. He turns 31 today. Oh my gosh. Um, anyway, um, it's been a while. It's been more than a couple of months probably, and it's also since been my Flossiversary for one year. Um, I've spent more time stitching, creating bags, doing other things, and floss tube keeps seeming to not really take a back seat, but I run out of time to do a, a, a full video, it seems like. So um, here I am, and what I decided I would do is a mid-year whip parade. Since it's the middle of July, it's just over the half year mark of the year, so perfect timing, and we all love a good whip parade, um, me included. I love the big long ones. Hopefully mine won't be terribly, terribly long, but I do have, um, I have my notes somewhere, hang on. I do have, I think, I think, 56 whips. Um, I abandoned three. There's three more I may abandon. Um, 28 have either been started this year or touched this year, so about half of them. Um, I've had eight finishes, I believe, so far this year, and 14, 15 new starts. Oops. Um, but anyway, it's, uh, you know, stitch what you love. Stitch how you love. I am definitely a process stitcher. Um, I'm not going to take too long to talk, I promise. But um, I am a process stitcher. I enjoy it. I enjoy starting things. I enjoy kitting them up and getting the floss drops ready, picking my linen out. Um, and just starting a new project. I do enjoy working on them and seeing the progress. I do tend to get bored after a while, so the more I have, um, the more I can switch them up and not get bored with anything. Um, I do have quite a few finished that I need to fully finish. That's what I'm probably the worst at, is getting them fully finished, because um, that's just time that I can't stitch or do something else that I enjoy doing. So, um, I need to get better about that. I do have a pile, and I would like to get those done in the next month or two. But anyway, so in lieu of a regular floss tube, um, I am going to throw in here my new starts because they are now whips as well. And then when I next do a floss tube, I will do do it a little bit more, you know, normal with um, finishes and starts and all of that. I do have two finishes since my last episode, but I will um, do those in the next one, I do believe. So, um... Without further ado, let's get this going because there are quite a few, and I'm going to try not to talk about each one too much. Um, I've watched a lot of whip parades, and I've watched people go from newest to last, from oldest to newest. Um, I've watched them go in all different kinds of directions, and I think my favorite so far, and I'm trying to remember who it was, it wasn't Sarah. Oh... Oh my gosh, I'm totally blanking. I don't think it was Julie. I think it was Julie. Um, Colorado girl in a Kansas City world, I think. And she mixed it up and she went from her oldest to her newest and then back to her oldest and then next newest and back and forth. And it kind of kept it fresh. Um, for those of us maybe that watch the same floss tubes and we've seen the same whips in progress for the last few months, um, but then you don't really necessarily want to sit through all the really old ones that we haven't touched in forever, but some people maybe haven't seen them, so they do want to see them, and some people are going to come to a whip parade just because it's whip parade, and they've never been to your channel before. So, um, I like her idea. So, I actually divided mine into three segments, and I've got my newest ones in the last, well, mainly 2024 and a few, um, uh, 12 by 12 starts from New Year's Eve and then I've got mostly last year with a little bit of the previous year like the end of that so that's that's pile one pile two and then pile three is the really old stuff um, and that would date back to I think I might have one or two more left from 2020 when I restarted cross stitch most are going to be 21 21 and 22 um, and then a separate pile, like I said, for mainly 23 and then mainly 24. So we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully I won't get too discombobulated and too <laughs> disorganized. And I can hopefully find all my floss and everything. Um, I won't necessarily tell you everything about every project, but I do have notes on at least the last couple of years. I keep 
um, really good notes on this. So I can tell you what the fabric was if you're curious, what floss colors if you're curious, um, any conversions, anything like that. Um, just let me know in you know, a comment down below. For those of you that are new, sorry, I'm kind of going backwards here. Welcome to my channel. Again, this is The Scrappy Chick. My name is Cindy. Um, I rediscovered cross stitch uh, about four years ago at the beginning of COVID and I haven't put it down since. Um, to my returning subscribers and returning viewers, thanks so much for joining me again. And if you are new to me, I hope you will subscribe, hit the like button. Um, returning people can feel free to hit that like button too if you'd like to. Um, but please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. I love reading your comments. I love um, just hearing anything random. It's just, it's, it's totally awesome about your life. Um, it helps me to form a connection to more of you. And I have really valued the friendships that I have created um, and see grow through cross stitch and quilting. Uh, it, it's just wonderful. Okay, so now, we're going to jump in. So let's start first, though, with a new start, which is, again, a whip, but one that no one has seen yet. So I've got two of those, I believe, and I'm going to try to put them on my board. So I'll chat for a second in between so that I can get it all set up so you guys can see it better. This one is a stitch along that the Floss Boss and Cousins started on in their Facebook group, I believe. And that is the Loose Feathers collection. I have summer and winter. They were out of autumn when I had ordered it, so I need to go back and order that as well. Um, that is by Blackbird Designs. And again, that is the Floss Boss and Cousins, Christy and Callie, who are hosting this one. And that is my start on that. I hope this light is good enough. Um, I'm not really feeling that it is. I wonder if it's better from that angle. Maybe I need to turn my chair. Hmm. We'll go with this and I'll pause a few in and reconfigure. And if it's still working, okay, I'll keep going and I'll edit. And if not, then I'll just start over, I guess. But anyway, so I have just a few of the letters and I've started down that border. Uh, the entirety of the piece should be, I'm almost at the bottom of that part. So letters maybe around here. And then I'm almost to the end of the summer. It goes through G, so EFG. Eh, a little over halfway. Uh, so that's going to be really pretty, I think. I'm excited for this one. I'm stitching this on Stone Fruit by Lab and Loops. It's a new one to me. It's kind of got a really pretty peach kind of... Yeah, I'm not liking this light. <clears throat> okay, I was totally not liking the light. I think that's better. Um, let me get this one a little bit closer over here. I need a new ring light. I hate my ring light. It just flops. I need to get one of those metal weighted bases probably. Don't remember who makes them, but um, feel free to leave me a comment if you have a suggestion and it's not a small fortune. Um, but again, okay, so we are on the Loose Feathers Stitch Along with Christy and Callie of Floss Boss and Cousins. So that is where I'm at. I will show you the floss on this because it is so pretty. This is the Vicki Clayton Silk Conversion absolutely beautiful and it stitches up so so pretty I absolutely love her floss I have um, two or three different projects with hers I believe this is in one of my um, project folders this one is etchings it's the inside of that one and stay tuned at the end I will tag on a shop update um, I don't want to make it all one video, but I don't want to not, because um, I need to do an update anyway and put it on Instagram. So if you are interested in the project bags, hang around to the end and I will do it all at that point. Or if you're only here for the project bags, then skip ahead to that. Um, I have no idea. Half, well, probably like an hour, maybe. Anyway, so that was number one. And I'm going to see if I can keep these somewhat together. So then let's do a super old one next. And this kind of comes in a pair. These are from, I believe, 2021 and 2022, respectively. And this was the first one. This is the Serendipity Stitch Along. And this was hosted by Fat Quarter Shop. Um, it was a pattern they did for a fundraiser. And again, I think this was 2020. It 
I think this was 2021. Um, the colors were different than this. I believe they were blues and yellows and it matched a Coriander fabric that they did a quilt for. And I happened to have um, a different fabric collection from Coriander that I really wanted to use and it matched these colors. So I switched up all my colors. I literally only have one row and it's a crime. I haven't gone back and finished that. I just really lost gumption on it. Um, the colors are really pretty, but I don't have a place for it specifically in my house. Um, so it hasn't been calling to me and it's not a specific season either. Um, but again, that is the, um, serendipity stitch along. I also started the following year. You'd think I'd learn the heartfelt stitch along and that's where I got to on that one. I did use the called for colors on that. These are all DMC for both. I think that's really pretty. And even though it's more of a Valentine's-y type thing, um, to me it's kind of Christmas too. And I have this quilt top all pieced together. I just need to, um, I just need to quilt it. Uh, and it turned out really, really pretty. And I think it would be lovely for Christmas with the pinks and greens and reds and a little bit of gray in there. So for this one, I honestly don't even know. I'm sorry, I keep itching. Uh, my skin is super dry. I honestly don't know that I'm going to finish the whole thing. I may, when I was looking at it, when I ironed it, just finish down this one last row here and call it a day and just frame it like that. I think that might actually be kind of pretty. So, um, yeah, we'll see. I may do that, and that way I can call that a finish because I would like to get some more finishes of some of these old ones. So, when I get to one and I say, oh, this is sad that I haven't finished it, I'm gonna to try to put it in the pile. This is a super old project bag that I made. Um, that was one of the blocks from that quilt from the Heartfelt. No, I'm sorry, from the Serendipity. And that was the fabric, the Coriander fabric. Okay, so that one aside. Next, um, we will go to section three. And I'm not gonna do the clips. I was gonna do the clips and it seems like they take way more time. So I'm going to skip on the clips. Um, so I have two living in one project folder. That's why it seems a little uh, awkward here. This is Peace on Earth Sampler. And this is from Cottage Garden Samplings. I always want to have trouble with Cottage Garden and Carriage House. I don't know why. It, it, don't know why, but for some reason. I know which is which, but I blah, 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 when it comes to saying one or the other of them. But anyway, so that's Peace on Earth Sampler. That was my Christmas start from last year. So still within a year, but it was a 2023 start. And I fell in love with this pink and orange house. I just think it's so, so pretty. And I'm mixing my projects up already. Oh my gosh. Okay, that one, I had the wrong one on the board there. That one is this. And that's where I am on that. I have come most of the way, hmm. it's a little past the top of that. I mean, the halfway point on that border, the flowers end right about where the words are. And then you've got all that greenery and then the pot and all below it. So I am maybe two thirds of the way down and I'm only halfway across. So that tells you that's gonna be a monster of a sampler. But again, it's so pretty. I love the colors in that. And I'm stitching this on, See if I can find it. I thought I saved a little tag, and perhaps I did not. Oh boy. Oh, please. Um, I did not. I wanna say it's an Atomic Ranch, and if I find the little tag here in a minute, I will tell you what it was. But I think that's what it was. It's, um, and it is a 36 count, and I'm stitching that with all the called for. So that is Peace on Earth Sampler. And then the other one living in that same bag is Frederick. And this is from Carriage House Samplings. And maybe it's because they're in the same bag that I can't seem to tell you which is which. Again, I know which is which, but um, yeah, this is this is the Carrie Bar Kathy Barrick um, Samplings Carriage House. And this is Frederick. There's also Frederica. I couldn't decide which one I wanted because I loved them both, but they were out of one when I ordered. So I got the one that they had, and that was Frederick. And that's my start on that. This was my birthday start last year um, in November. 
hmm, decent progress. I'm all the way down and I'm most of the way across, I believe. So the piece won't be that much bigger than that. And I am using the MPI silks on that. I haven't floss dropped those yet. I need to. Such pretty autumn colors. I love them. Um, can't tell you if I have a preference for the Vicki Claytons, the MPIs, the Dinky Dyes. I love them all. Um, I like the way the Vicki Claytons come. They come on a little like thread bobbin and they're easier to do on floss drops. I really, it's the same with the DMC. I just don't care for the way they, they come, but the actual silk, mm, love it, love it. The Vicki Claytons are cheaper though, and that's nice, um, or I should say more economical. And that is living in this project bag. It's a top fold project folder. I had um, a few of these last year. These did sell out. I might have some more bits and pieces of this fabric, but I'm not sure. I don't think I do. Uh, so those both live in there together. i put those aside. And again, those were both the end of last year. Um, and sorry, Frederick is being stitched on Mellow Stone um, by Atomic Ranch. Actually, they, mo they both might be. Um, that's a 40 count. I think they might both be on the same fabric, and that's why I can't find that tag. That's a really good possibility. <laughs> okay, so another new one. Here's one you haven't seen as well. Um, I don't remember. I've had the Artsy Housewife on my radar for a while, and when I had gone down to um, Barefoot Needle Art in uh, Myrtle Beach last, last month, I think it was last month, for a class, um, I really wanted a couple of her different patterns, but I couldn't make up my mind. They didn't really have the couple that I was thinking about. And then um, I was kind of going online and like, mm, maybe, maybe, maybe. Watched her floss tube, saw the new July Patreons, and I was like, ooh, okay, those are really pretty. And then somebody made me cave. I don't remember who whose fault that was, but we will just blame it on Gigi who is the creator of the Artsy Housewife. And this is the beginnings. Oh my gosh, my light's awful. And I have light on everywhere. That is the beginning of the tier three of the stitch along. And it is flowing so beautifully. I love the geometric progression. I don't even know what to say. It's, um, it's asymmetric yet symmetrical. And that just makes my heart really happy. Um, I'm a bit of a, of a math nerd and I always liked geometry and um, algebra, calculus not so much. Um, but anyway, it just, it flows so nice. I love it. And I'm using the Roxy Flosco conversion for that. Such, such pretty colors. This one in particular, and I don't know that you're going to be able to see this. This is called Crooked but it is a flow from like a pale green to a gold and it's got little bits of blue in it and it is oh so pretty, I just can't even tell you. Absolutely love it. We're gonna pause for a sec. Okay, so I tried again. Um, really not happy with the light, but I don't know what else to do. I don't know why I'm struggling so badly today. I am in a different room because I didn't have enough room in my sewing room um, and I, I have light all around me in here, but it still does not seem to be sufficient um but we're gonna go with it because i don't really have a choice at this matter um this is the little project bag that i threw together for that one i pulled from the colors from the floss and that is literally just scraps of fabric it's mostly scraps from the quilt that i made my son and he had picked out the fabric for that one um he wanted something purple yet masculine yeah Okay, um, and he's very modern as well. So anyway, that's what he, that's what we ended up with. Okay, that's that one. I'm talking too much per project. Let's go to a super old one again. This one is, um, don't even remember the name. Let's see if we can find the name of this in my notes. Ha ha ha. Bats and Booze? No. Fright Night. This is Fright Night. This is also from Fat Quarter Shop. It's so Emma. This was a stitch along back in 2020 or 2021. Um, I hate the fabric. It's super stiff. It's an Ada. I like the color. Do not like stitching on it, but I cannot abandon this. I love it. I might restart it, 
but I love that house. I just think it's so stinking cute. So it's it's still in the keeper pile for now, and it is living in the bag that I ordered to go with it. I am using all the called for floss. Again, if you have any questions, especially about these older ones, just leave me a note and I will um, look it up and see if I can figure it out. Okay, next up. This one is from last year, a start in the fall. And to not bore you, I do actually have notes with all of my exact start dates as well, but um, it's just too much, so we're not going to do that. This is Blackbird Designs, Midnight Watch. Absolutely, absolutely love this one. It's got such a, I don't know, a retro, primitive, yet just a little spooky and goth. I don't know, I love it. Anyway, that's where I am on this one. Haven't stitched on this much lately. I did pull it out for um, one month for the hoverboard, which is also Christy and Kelly, Floss Boss and Cousins. Did not get a ton done, but love it nonetheless. Is that better back here? It's just so far away. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Anyway, that is that one, and that is living in that project folder. Again, top fold project folder. Blackbird Designs. That one is being stitched on a 36 count Duxbury from Fox and Rabbit. So while I'm in between things, I'm going to ask you guys questions. And this question that's coming to mind is, um, what's your favorite fabric dyer? Um, I have quite a bit of Fox and Rabbit. I've gotten quite a bit of Atomic Ranch lately. Um, I have, I don't even know. It's all over the board, Fiber on a Whim. I have, um, can you remember them all? There's tons. But what's your favorite? Um, I seem to like the Atomic Ranch and um, Grace Notes. I love Grace Notes. I also love, and I was thinking about joining their club, and that's why I'm going to know what you guys like. Um, I was thinking about joining either Grace Notes or, um, can't remember the other one. Um, anyway, this one is La Maison Sampler, and this is by Trelly, the Spanish Stitcher. She is a relatively new designer. This was one of her first patterns, and I fell in love. And um, Katie at So Tattered had started to stitch along for this. So I hopped right on in. This is actually perfect for the colors in my bathroom. So I thought I would get that done. It goes with some of my other like word art that's in there. And that's as far as I am on that one. But I absolutely love it. I wanna say I'm about halfway down the border on the sides, maybe a teeny bit further on that. I'm excited to get to the house, but I have to finish the basket, um, and then I get to go on to the roof, which is exciting. And I am using the Call 4 DMC on that. That is that one. That is living in this project folder. That was gingerbread fabric, and that was also housing. That project's done, so I'm not going to show you, but it was housing that one. But there are other projects in that book that I want to do, so it's still living in there. Um, so again, that is La Maison Sampler from the Spanish Stitcher. And that one, I believe I started maybe last fall. Don't remember. I'm really bad with, with remembering unless I'm looking at my book. The older I get, is it is it just me? Is it like early onset dementia or is this normal for old age? And I'm, I have to think about how old I am. I'm going to be 56 this year. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is normal or not, but it seems like the short-term memory is just oh, gone. If it's not on a post-it note right in front of me, I have no idea. And that's really sad, but uh, yeah, anyway. Okay, so let's do another old one. And this is one of my favorites. Don't know why I haven't worked anymore on this. Really couldn't tell you. This is a series of 12. This is also Blackbird. Are you seeing a the theme? I love Blackbird. Um, this one that's the whip is, it's from the Garden Series. This is number three, Honeybee. And I have a handful of other ones. They're all stitched on different fabrics and you could do the little frames or the little, they have them as a pillow on the back of some, or you can stitch them all together, all that different fabric. And that's kind of the way I'm leaning, but I also think 
a little bread bowl full of little spring pillows would be really pretty. So that one is almost done, that side. I have to do the little bird and a little bit more of the border. And then I will have to do the coordinating other half, the actual beehive. Um, and then that one will be done. So I think that needs to go in that I really need to keep working on it or it's never gonna get done. My mess of floss for that one. Um, so again, that one's Honeybee, and that's from the Garden Club series, and that is in this bag that I made a long time ago using hmm, maybe a Lori Holt pattern. I know it's Lori Holt fabric, so it was most likely a Lori Holt pattern as well. Um, <clears throat> that's that one. Okay, so let's go back to, I don't even know which way I'm going now. Um, this was last year, and this was from the Star Spangled Ornaments book, and it's so Emma. And I've really gotten more away from these little cutesy type things. Um, they have some really cute things, but it's just not really my style anymore. But the little ornaments in the baking tin, they were just screaming at me. They're just so darn cute. How cute would that be on a little garland? Um, or in a tiered tray like they have them shown there. I am using the Call for Colors on that. They did not have the fabric that I wanted at the time. So I went with, I think this one is platinum. It's a 25 count Lagana. And I call this my car stitch fabric because 25 count is super easy to see. So when we are rolling down the road, I can actually work on that. That one is finished. This is the second one I'm working on. And I worked maybe 30 minutes on it this year and that was it. But I did work on it, I did touch it. And that is in another bag by me. All my bags are by me yet to ever buy a bag. There's lots and lots of pretty ones out there, but I was always one of these that would go, you know, all my life, go to a craft fair, see something and be like, oh, I can make that. So um, then I spent all the time making all the things that um, I didn't know I needed until I saw them. And I absolutely love making the project bags. They're a lot of fun. So here is a slightly newer one that I know you guys have seen quite a few times. Not much this year, I did work on it a couple of months ago. And this is a Plum Street Samplers, one of my favorites. Well, Plum Street's one of my favorites. Um, Christmas Mini Moon. I would like to do all the all the moons and many moons, all the moons. Yeah, that sounds kind of Star Trek-y, doesn't it? <laughs> um, anyway, she has one for each season, I believe. And this is where I am on that. This is being stitched on 28 count Oaken Lugana. Ask me how I remember that one. Don't know, but I do. I just, that light needs to be closer. That's the problem. And I'm stitching that with all the call for. Again, my floss is a mess, but that's just me. That's how I am, that's how I roll. And this is a super old project bag that I made. Vinyl front, I haven't made any of these in a long time. I just got to wear, I, I think it was because I was using really cheap vinyl back in the day, and it, um, I don't know, just crinkles up. It's it's not pleasing to the eye to me. They sit nice on the shelf because they're thin, but they expand, but um, something about it I just don't care for. All right, coffee break, hang on. Okay, let's go back to the old pile for a second here. Um, this one I do not have a picture of. I didn't print it out, but this is Stitchy, Char St mm, I guess that way, sorry. Stitchy Stars from Lori Holt, and it was originally these seven, and she had them across in line. And then they since came out with um, ideas with different seasons, changing the colors and everything. But when I had first gotten this three or four years ago, for whatever reason, I decided I wanted it to be more of a quilt format. So this one is pretty close to done. And then I just need to find two other little pieces that will fit in there. She has tons of patterns that are all the same size. So there are many other stars that I can find. I know of one for sure that I have that I can throw in there and I just need to see if I have another one or not. It's all Weeks Dye Works. Love the colors. It matches the quilt that she designed. Um, don't recall the name of that, but I did make that back in the day. Um, this is the bag it's living in. And being Lori Holt, it's kind of a crime that I'm using fig tree fabric, but I love loved the fabric, love the bag. So that is that one. 
And again, that was from hmm, probably like three years ago, would be my guess. And it's kind of a shame I haven't finished that one as well. I did work on it some this month, so now I'm not going to work on it anymore this year. But I, I really need to make an effort to do that one before Memorial Day of next year. I could get it done before Labor Day, but um, yeah, not going to or 9-11, but yeah, it's not going to happen this year. So I'm not even going to try. All right. Um, in the next bag, we have two projects living again. So we'll do two that are more recent. This one I haven't worked on in a while, and that is Let's Talk Stitching from Hands On Design. I wanna do this and the companion, which is Let's Talk Quilting, um, to go in my stitching room. And this is being stitched on Ancient Ruin from Fox and Rabbit. Beautiful fabric. It's getting harder to see those holes the older I get, even with, um, I'm wearing bifocal contact lenses, but when I stitch, I still have to put the readers on <clears throat> in order to see the holes very well. And the dark holes are super hard unless I'm outside in natural daylight. But that's where I'm on that. Love it, have not worked on that in a hot minute. There's the colors for that. I think that's super, super pretty. And then in that same bag is another hands-on design. And let's see if I have the pattern for this one. I do. This is Spring Folk. Stitchy Sarah Reeds turned me onto this. She did a, um, a stitch along with this a few months back. I think most people have probably finished theirs and moved on to summer. And I have bought Summer Folk, and I really want to start that, but I am resisting because there's too many other things I want to start right now. Um, but she had also done the fall one and did the full finish on the paddle, and it's just beautiful. That's from Chantel's 141. And there's that. This is where I am on this one. I tweaked my colors a little bit. Brightened them up to match better my um, Easter decor. And that, both of those, sorry, are living in that project folder. That was, um, hmm. let's see, Pixie, it's not Pixie. I'm trying to remember the name of the fabric line. Um, it's not, it's not a moda, it's its own, <sighs> words are hard, memory is hard. Anyway, um, there's that, those two. Okay, so let's go to this pile over here. I don't know if y'all are liking this or not. I kind of like mixing it up, but my piles are piles. There is no easy way to do a whip parade. Has anybody found an easy way to do a whip parade um, that doesn't take forever by taking each one out of a bag and having the bags and totes? Um, I haven't figured it out. To have them all ironed and laid out with all the stuff, it is just, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, all right, next. And I love the colors on this one. Absolutely love it. I need to get back to this one. This is a Barbarana Designs, Garden of Dreams. Um, Got turned on to her last year at some point, so I know I started this last year. I had done a Halloween one and then started this one and another one right behind it. And this is where I am on that. Sorry. Kind of starting the top of her hair there. That's the colors. The colors are so, so pretty. It's like a pastel fall. Love it. So that is that one. And that is on, I have no idea what that's on. That is a 32 count, because I'm stitching with two threads. I know that. I rarely stitch on 36 with two. I am doing one right now, but I rarely do that. So I'm pretty sure that's a 32, and I have no idea what it is. And it's living in this top fold. Poppy cotton. This is the same fabric line as the other one. And it just came to me. It's poppy cotton fabric. See, it's all in there. It's all in the filing cabinet in my head. I just have to find the right folder and sometimes it takes a few minutes. Does anybody get me? Anybody? Oops, <laughs> random pattern. That's not where it belongs. Okay, let's go back over here. And this one, I'm a month behind on. I need to get back on this. This is the Shores at Hawk Run Hollow. And 
this is Shores at Hawk Run Hollow. One of my two Hawk Runs. I really want to do Christmas and Autumn as well. And the houses and the map. Oh, I want to do them all. But these are monsters. This is only maybe a third of the floss <laughs> for that one. Um, oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I lied. That's the entirety of that floss. It's my Halloween that I only have part of it. This is Shores. And I'm doing this on it's a fiber on a whim. I think it's called Persimmon. I don't see the tag. Let's see if I have the tag still floating around. Pretty sure it's Persimmon. Yeah, that's where I am on that one. So this was the Lucy Goosey four-year stitch along. Nancy, the disorderly stitcher, started this one. Um, also on her Facebook group. And we started it on leap day I believe right around there so I would have had March April May June there's June you can see I need to finish June and then I need to do July which is starting the next one but I love it I absolutely love it but I have been hot and heavy on a couple things and when I get to them I'll tell you why I'm behind on other things um so again Hawk Run Hollow that one is living in this bag I had actually made this specific for that because I thought the colors were really pretty with it. And that is all free spirit um, fabrics. Put that one aside. My tote's getting ready to get full and it's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> um, so while we're on Hopper and Hollow, let's go ahead and do the other one. And this is probably gonna be a restart. I've talked about this before in Floss Tube because it is all um, Sarah's fault. Um, Sarah Memphis C is her fault. I started mine on Hazelwood, which is fiber on a whim. Whoops. It's pretty, it's neutral, it's spooky, it's whatever. Um, she did hers on purple and I freaking fell in love. I couldn't find a purple I liked, so I, had ordered one hoping it would be bright enough and it's not so I'm gonna brighten it up and I do have dye um, but this is my purple it will be brighter I promise that is actually Medusa's gay gaze and it's a 32 count and it's from lap and loops and it's a really pretty fabric I just wanted it a little bit more purple so I'm gonna be criminal and destroy that fabric not destroy I'm gonna beautify that fabric this is the one that I said, this is only a handful of colors. That's like a third of them, which is insane. That's what it looks like when it's done. So each of these little bad boys, each block, not the double blocks, but each of the single blocks is almost 100 by 100. So, um, and there are a lot of almost full coverage too. Almost full coverage. Almost completely full coverage. Full coverage. Um, it's a lot of stitching. But they are so pretty, and I will persevere on that one. And if you're watching Joni, um, you had asked me at one point about a purple because you'd heard me talking about it. So I'm waiting on you, girl. When you get ready to start, you let me know, and I think we should start it together because I'm going to restart it on that purple. So hit me up, girl, when you're ready. Um, that's living in this bag. That's all fig tree fabrics. Let's put that one away. So that's my two hawk runs. And like I said, there's at least three or four <laughs> off the top of my head more that I want to start. Um, at least. Okay, next. This one I started around Valentine's Day. So we're back in the current pile again. And this is Lovely Hearts. This is by my friend Laura Textilly. She did um, a couple of patterns around Christmas. Maybe just one. I can't remember. I did do her Christmas one, um, the Holly Snowflake, and I can't remember if she did one or two, and then she did two Valentines. That one's Lovely Hearts, and I will show you the other one because I kept it with it. I haven't started this one yet. And this is Key to the Heart. So beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, and I am using the Call for MPIs on this one. That's where I'm at. Pretty good start, I just, you know, fizzled out because Valentine's Day was over and I was ready for something besides pink. But that would be one I could finish up in definitely in a week, maybe even in a couple of nights. So um, 
I don't know, maybe I'll put that back into the pile of, um, I could finish that quickly and get some finishes and knock some of these whoops down. That's living in this. Oh, and you know what? I had a second one of these and I was gonna draw a name and give it away and because this isn't regular floss tube and I'm not doing all the things, only whips, I forgot to draw a name. So my next regular floss tube, I promise I will still go back and draw a name for that, but I have another one. And the reason I'm giving it away, mine's a little cut off, but my other one, the heart is definitely cut off down here and I can't sell it. So um, I wasn't really thinking when I had put these together, this was just a whim when I did them because I made this special for um, uh, Laura Stitch because I thought the fabrics and all would, would be pretty. This is the heart felt that I was talking about earlier, the quilt I have um, assembled and not quilted yet. But anyway, so this is the folder. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I do have another one of those. So go back to my last video if you want a chance to win that. Again, it's it, nothing's wrong with the folder except for the bottom of the heart's cut off in the other one. Um, and I am gonna give that away. So go back and leave a comment. I don't remember what I told you to say, but you know, go through to the end and watch and see what I told you to comment. Comment on that and my next floss tube, which I promise will not be two months away again. Um, I'm gonna give that one away. So that's that. Oh, and that's being stitched on, oh gosh, um, 36 count Silver Moon, I think. 36 count something, and it's a silvery fabric. I think it's called Silver Moon. All right, let's go back to the old pile because there's a bunch of these. Um, okay, this one is in the Loose Feathers Spring 2013 book. Um, I really want to do this one. I just finished... This is where the strawberry head, oh God, what's it called? Maybe it's not. Oh, no, I finished something else in here. Anyway, this is the one I'm working on. And it is called, I don't know. It's not called, I don't know. It's called Summer Berry Pincushion. And that's where I am on that. That would be a super fast finish. I didn't like the bottom white of the berries because it didn't show up and I pulled a pink and I hated the pink. And I started this so long ago that I didn't have a ton of floss to choose from. Now I do. So I just need to go pick that out and finish that and then we'll have another strawberry something. That's the colors for that one. But I do really want to do um, the Agnes Platt up at the top. That was really pretty. Maybe next year for strawberry season. That's living in the same strawberry bag that Strawberry Fields Forever was in. I know you guys have seen that recently on Instagram. All right. And I thought I was going to put these aside, and I did not. I was really bad about that. They're all just in the tub, but I've got to put them all in their bags anyway. Mm. So I'm definitely going to pull at least two or three. Um, maybe I'll just make a whole bucket, like a little, um, you know, a little basket. So let's do another old one while we're at it because there's, like I said, quite a few of those. But hopefully you like the going back and forth. I think I kind of like it. Um, this is, I don't have the cover photo, but I'm sure everybody knows which one this is. This is Christmas Rules, and this is from Primrose Cottage Stitches. It is literally lacking. I think above Drink Hot Chocolate is just one more thing in Christmas Rules, if not just Christmas Rules. Like, there's not much. Not much at all. And I really wanted to do that last year, but I think I started something new instead. <laughs> Don't recall. Um, it's living in this project bag. I can't show you the front. It's a vinyl front because it has the pattern in it. Um, I'm stitching that on a 36 count mystery linen. Um, I think it's affogato, maybe. Not sure. Had quite a bit of that one. Uh, quite a bit of that at one point. And I'm stitching that with a call for DMC. Super pretty. Um, again, Primrose Cottage Stitches. Um, okay. Next. Here's another Barbara Anna. This one was also started sometime towards the end of last year. This is Wildflowers. Yep. Wildflowers. Love that cat. I wanted to do something for my eight-year-old granddaughter for her room. Um, she loves cats. I love cats, too. She really loves cats. And I wanted to match her cats, Sprinkles and Bandit. Don't ask me where the names came from. They are brother and sister, and Sprinkles and Bandit don't go together. 
the names. Like we used to always do when my kids were little, um, book characters from, you know, whatever they were reading or whatever we're watching on TV. Anywho, um, Sprinkles and Bandit. They're both cute names. They just don't go together. You can't even see it. And that's why I haven't gone back to it. It's a 40 count um, dark cobblestone linen. And this is like a, these are the colors in a room. Super pretty. Can't see them on that fabric. Um, if I had done the black cat, you could see it. But the color of her cats are mostly white with a little bit of that like tanny color in there. So I either need to get a lot of white in there in a heartbeat or change my fabric. And I haven't decided what I want to do. Therefore, I have still not done anything on my poor baby's project, and I need to. Another super old project folder. That Sherry and Chelsea fabric from a hot minute ago. All right. Here's that one. Okay, back to the new pile. Um, haven't seen this lately. I need, to, I need to work on this. I love this one. This was Tiger Lily's... Um, Carry it Tiger Lily Designs, Tiger Lily's birthday sale this last year. And I think that was mm, April, May, May, maybe. My Sister Samplers, and this is Ann Richardson, H9. Absolutely love it. I did order the Vicki Clayton's for this because you're so scrumptious, and these colors are beautiful. Um, this is where I'm at on that. Just the alphabet but that's okay I need to get back to it and start on the flowers such a pretty sampler I honestly just kind of forgot about it because every time I pull out this bag I'm close to a finish on its bag mate is that a word bag mate um, you know table mate classmate bag mate close to a finish on that and that is so I'll go ahead and show you that too um, oh, and then that, sorry, let's go back to this one, the My Sister Samplers. This is being stitched on, oh, I just had it. Oh my goodness. It's 40 count, and I think it's called White Clay. I think it fell off. It did, right there. White Clay, 36 count, Fox and Rabbit. Really pretty color. All right, this is one of my new favorite colors. Like I said, I have... Um, I don't know if Lap and Loops has a fabric of the month. I should look into that. They've got some beautiful stuff. This one's on a um, Lap and Loops. This is Botanical Study Number One from Petal Pusher. And this was a stitch along a couple of months back. It started around the same time as Tiger Lily's birthday sale. That's why they ended up in the same bag. Um, handmade by Sarah W. And her friend Ashley from Paper Crane Yarns hosted a stitch along. For this one and I did mine on Mothman by Lap and Loops. Love it on the purple. They had a dark finish and a light finish and I chose the darker and when I was going through my fabric stash it just looked so pretty on the purple. I couldn't stand it. So I need to finish these two leaves and then there's some little little teeny weeds down down here and then that one's done. So every time I pick up that bag I end up working on that one because I want to get it done because it's so close to done. I haven't done it probably in like a month, but um, she's super close. And those are both living in this one. And this is a Robin Pickens fabric, one of my project folders. Love that. I wish I could get my hands on more of that one. That's one of my favorite lines she's done. I have a lot of Robin Pickens fabric and um, lots of scraps, bits and pieces. But um, I had gotten a closeout on that. It was like little fabric bun bundles or something that um, they don't have anymore. I could probably find it online, but I think it's really, really pretty. Okay, so that was another new one. Let's go back to the middle grouping. And this was the last year starts. This was, I believe, one of my 12 by 12 starts. Go tell it on the mountain. And Heartstring Samplery, I believe. Yes, Beth Twist of Heartstring Samplery. Let's give you a close up. And then back here, so you can actually see the colors a little bit better. All right, I've definitely got to redo something with the light before I do another floss too. This is awful. I'm so sorry. Um, that's my little piddly start on that. There's the colors. 
let that other green and the red and the white just pop really pretty on that. So I'm kind of putting up with that one green doesn't pop so much, but in the picture, it doesn't pop so much either. So I think it's going to work really pretty. But again, this was one of my 12 by 12 starts. I did not do 12 on 12 by 12. I ended up doing like five or six, maybe. Uh, yeah, we just won't even go there. <laughs> that is living in this project folder, another top fold. Put that one aside. Um, that one's being stitched on mystery linen. Don't know. No clue. No clue whatsoever. Um, okay, let's go back to super old pile. Well, actually, in the super old pile, we have two. One is super old and one is not. So, in the super old pile, we have um, Snow Village. I have them labeled as to where they go, sorry. I have a good handful of these. Started this when Kimberly at Fat Quarter Shop started it. This was back when I was mainly doing Ada, I think in 2020, maybe in 2021, I think it was 2020. Um, and I decided to try even weave and I was a little overwhelmed by the double holes. So I tried gridding, which I hate. At the time it was helpful. That's as far as I got on that. Don't love the fabric. The color's pretty. I don't love stitching on it. It's okay. Um, but I just really got bored with that. I need to go back to it. It's pretty. But in the same bag, and the reason I haven't gone back to this is because I go back to the other one instead. Um, and I have no idea what, it, that's a probably a 32 count even weave. Um, don't recall what the color is. I have no idea, I'm so sorry. But living in the same bag, is also from, well this one's Little House Needleworks, is Farmhouse Christmas. I have quite a few of these. This is the one I'm working on right now, and that's Little Red Barn. That's number one. And this is where I am on that. Doesn't make much progress. I pulled this out for, um, Joy from um, Carolina Stitchers, Joy and one of her friends, I can't remember who it was, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Joy's friend, I don't remember. Um, it was the uh, building block sale, and I think that is still going on. You can work on any any of the ones that like all the blocks go together to make a big one. So this was the one that I had kind of pulled to try to work on that. I should get back to this, maybe on the 25th of the month I will. I'm using all the call for on that, and that's all classic color works. I have no idea what the linen is. It was in my stash. It's a super loosey goosey weave. Um, the color's pretty, the weave's a little weird, but I'm not gonna restart that at this point. It's good enough. I live in the land of good enough. And I need another coffee break, hang on. Oh, okay, so. Um, let's go back to last year's pile. This one, it's not quite close to done, but it's, it's closer than it was. And I really just want to finish this because I love this and I really want this hanging on my wall. And that's, this is the day from Plum Street Samplers. And I have the one that goes with it. Um, this I know, and I want to start on that too. You guys see that? This is where I'm on that. I got most of the house done, the flower basket. I still have to do the like flowers over here, the little animals in the sky and the rest of the words. It's not a ton, but it's not mostly done either. So that was my Sunday stitch for a while. And maybe I should go back to that. I haven't done that in a long time. Um, what's the colors for that? Really pretty. Mostly classic color work, some weeks and a few DMCs thrown in. And that one's being stitched on paper bark from Fox and Rabbit. Also a pretty thin, kind of loose fabric, but I really like that fabric. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. And that's living in another super old project bag that um, also has the pattern showing, so I'm not gonna show you the whole thing. Um, okay, I'll put that away. Um, let's go to the this year's pile. 
this on a Plum Street sampler. Have you noticed that? Like there'll be a few from here and then a few from there. I guess we're on the Plum Street section right now. This is American Welcome. And this is a sal that I am hosting along with um, a number of people. And let's see if I can get them all. Um, Christy and Callie from Floss, Floss and Cousins. Laura from Textile Crafts. Hannah from The Pokey Needle. Um, Joy from Carolina Stitchers. Amy Swillhart, no floss tube, but she is AEW. I don't remember her Instagram handle, but I'll put all these people down below. So, me, Amy, Joy, Chrissy, Callie, Laura. Did I miss one? Hannah. I think that's everybody. Anyway. So, we are doing this over the course of a year. We started it on Memorial Day. Um, and we divided the pattern into 12 parts. So that if you do one part a month, it's not so overwhelming because there are... 16 or 18,000 stitches, something insane. Hannah counted, like she literally counted. And that's where I am on that. That is two months of progress, and I'm right about on track. I'm not exactly following how I divided it up, but I'm pretty close. I think it was supposed to be this section, but I kind of ended up going this away. So either way, that's about 28, 2900 stitches, something like that. That's hard to believe, isn't it? Love it. Um, I am using the called for um, <sighs> blanking color and cotton floss, which is absolutely beautiful. And I am stitching that on Winter Brew from R and R, and that's a 36 count. And then I made project folders for all of my co-hosts, co-hostesses, co-hostesses. Is that a word? Um, I ended up keeping one of the top folds, which was my goal, but they ended up not being um, long enough because I miscounted when I was stitching them. So I, um, this was, anyway, I had pre-cut them for this and it didn't work on mine. So they all ended up with the other kind so I could tweak it and fix it. Um, so if you see theirs, theirs all fold the other way. Mine folds that way. I decided to just, you know, suck it up and use one of the ones that was not quite eight and a half by 11. Um, I do still have some of those folders in the shop, I believe. But again, you can see that in the stitchy update later. All right. So that's that one. I think I told you the fabric, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Winter brew. Okay. Let's go back to the old pile again. So this one is the big, it's a crying shame that it's not done. Like, shame on me, shame on me, it's ridiculous. We're still on Plum Street Samplers. This is the Milk and Cream Company. And I love this pattern, and it is almost done. Um, I have some over one, and not much else. Um, I think there's one more flower, and some back stitch, and that's about it. So I just need to literally force myself because I love it. It's so cute. And that's on a 36. Yep, 36. It's a mystery linen. I had gotten it from um, a local store up here. It was just on the bulk fabric. No idea what it is. It's probably a Belfast of some sort, just an ivory, but really pretty. Love him. He's so cute. My little cow. That's the project bag that one lives in. Um, yeah, shame on me. That's so sad. Do any of you have like just neglected projects that are almost done? I know I'm not the only one guilty of doing that. Getting so close and then. All right, so since we're on Plum Street, let's keep going on Plum Street because the next, at least the next one is Plum Street. And this is Plum Street Samplers Goody Grimwood. <laughs> love this pattern. Absolutely love it. Uh, I had asked Laura, uh, same Laura, Textile Crafts, last year if she wanted to do um, our first stitch along together, and we did, and we called it the Plum Street Pumpkin Sal. And she did a totally different one, and in fact, she did two of them, and she sent me one. I showed that last year. I'll show it again when it comes closer to fall. I didn't think about bringing it in here. It's so pretty. She made me a little pillow. Um, I'm still not done with mine. She did two, and I'm still not done with mine, but that's where I am. 
Love this pattern, so fun. Love it on the purple. There's the fluff on that. And here's the bag that one's putting in. That is all Ruby Star Society fabric. Love, love, love. Oh, and then the purple, sorry, is, oh my God, not labeled. <laughs> I want to say it's Needle Bling Design. That's another company. I couldn't remember the name of them earlier that I absolutely love their fabric. And I want to say it's um, mm, Spellbound, maybe? Maybe? Don't know. 36 count. Love it. So that's that one. Okay. Let's go back to the old pile again because there's still quite a few of these. This is Mary and Minty from Brenda Gervais. Totally stalled out on that. It was a free one. It's probably still out there as a free one. Here's the bag it's living in. Can't show you that, it's got the pattern. Um, there's that. And let's do another old one while we're in the pile. This is one that might bite the best. Haven't decided. I like the pattern, I like the colors. Again, this was around the same time as that Halloween one from Fat Quarter Shop. This was also a mystery stitch along. And I tried doing the gridding. Don't like the gridding at all. The house is really pretty. The fabric's okay. I don't know. I can't decide. Do I really want to go back and commit the time to this? Because I really like it. It's cute. Um, and I do not have a full picture of this. I apologize. The little house is going to look kind of like that. That was the bag that I got to go with it. Um, but super cute. That was from like three, three years ago. He just started that in 20 or 21. Um, it's actually probably right in front of me. Mistletoe Lane, um, July of 2020. It is four years old and I have put no stitches in it in two or three years. So I really should probably abandon it, but, um, I don't know. So answer me this. Um, if I do abandon a couple of these, would anybody want them as a giveaway? Like free, totally free. Um, I don't know if it would be that one or the haunted house. I have a couple of other like old Lori Holt ones that are, you know, partially stitched. I hate to throw them away. You could take them to, you know, Goodwill. Maybe somebody will rescue them. But um, I'm not saying which specifically, but if you would be interested in adopting a stitch that I decided I wanted to move on from, um, let me know. Um, and I'm not saying I will give you one specifically, but just let me know. Say, hey, yeah, I would. Um, and then maybe by next video, I will pick a couple and then draw some names or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, just give me, give me your thoughts on the matter. That would be great. Okay. Um, what on earth is this? What on earth is this? Oh. I don't know what that is. I got put in the wrong place. Okay. Another old one, then we'll go back to some newer stuff again. This is Brenda Gervais, the Snowball. Started these a hot minute ago. Um, that's the whip that I'm working on right now. And hang on. these are also on Winter Brew from R&R, &R, 36 count. Here's that one. I did finish two of them. I got the little snow globe and let it snow. Those are done. I need to make these in little pillows. They're so cute. So cute. Love them. And I am using the called for floss on that. I believe it was all, yep, all DMC. And that's that bag. Super, super cute. Really just need to like uh, make a point to work on that one. Hang on, I'm gonna reorganize really quickly. Okay. Um, all right, moving on. Next, this was another 12 by 12 start. And this is Trim the Tree from Jeanette Douglas Designs. And they're all the same, they're just shown different on there. And that is my piddly little start on that. But I thought it was really pretty. I love the design. I love the colors. I love pink for Christmas. Like not just pink, but pink thrown in with um, with green and red and a little teal in there. Just yeah, love it. 
So um, that was one of my Piddly 12 by 12 starts. Am I gonna do 12 by 12 this year? <laughs> what I need to do is do 12 by 12 and work on the ones I started last year. Now there's a thought. Anybody wanna join me on that? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, let's put that aside. Um, another old one. Oh, this is a good one though. Love this one. This is Autumn Alphabet from Willow Hill Samplings. And that's not part of the design. That's <laughs> that's watermark. I couldn't tell. This is where I'm on this. So pretty. I love these colors. This is not all the call for colors. Um, it's all weeks in classic color works. And this was some random um, conversion that I had seen on Instagram. If anybody's curious, I can tell you what I'm using. But love it. And I need to get working on that. I say that about all these. I think we all sound like broken records, don't we? Um, need to work on this, need to work on that, need to get back to this. Um, it do totally doesn't match, but this didn't have anything living in it. It has a plan, so that one will probably find a new home. That's one of my favorite little project folders I've ever made. Absolutely love it. That was um, not Ruby Star Fabric. That was, hmm, I don't remember who that was. Um, I mean, I know who it was, but it's it's just lost in the brain. Couldn't tell you. Okay. Um, then, you guys see this one pretty frequently. This is Heartstring Samplery Sting. This is definitely an ongoing project. This is the one that I only work on at the coffee dates with my daughter. Because we started it together when she was going to move, and then she ended up not moving, thank God. Um, but we were going to work on it you know, like on Zoom calls or whatever over coffee. And we ended up just working on it together over coffee. Um, but we don't work on it every time we get together. We get together sometimes every other week, sometimes just once a month. Um, but sometimes we do other things. And she's a new stitcher, so it's kind of a slow stitcher. So you've seen this a million times and there's been no progress recently. But that's where I am on that. It's getting close. And then I don't really count this as a whip um, on the back. I did start float one day because she didn't bring hers and I wanted to stitch. Um, but I don't count that as a whip because I really haven't officially decided to do that one yet. Um, but they're both living in the same bag. I made these for both of us. And that's gingerbread fabric. Absolutely love it. Um, that is being stitched on, it's 32 count, and it's by Manny Dodonna. Also a beautiful fabric. Um, I have no idea what the name of it was. It's in my book, if you're curious, but I don't know off the top of my head. Um, it just had its one year anniversary because we started that in July of last year. Okay, another old one. This one, I literally just really kind of want to abandon it, but it's almost done, and that's Stitchville. It's really cute, just not me anymore. I don't know, maybe I just need to finish it and give it to somebody. But I was doing half stitches on 14 count Ada, not fun. Not fun at all. And it's really stiff Ada too. That's the project bag for that one. So, yeah, maybe that's the plan. Maybe I just need to finish that and give it away. Um, or take it to work. I can take it to work and display it. Maybe I'll do that. All right, that's that one. Um, let's go back to the new pile. And this was, I, I think this was a 12 by 12 start, I think. I can't remember. Um, somewhere around there. I should make you guess what that is. <laughs> Isn't that pathetic? This is Grimm's Haunt. Grimm's Haunt from Plum Street Samplers. I love the little house. He's so cute. But yeah, I didn't get very far on that. It probably was a 12 by 12 start if that's all I did. Like, I had no other plan except for I just wanted to start it. I uh, love the floss colors. And I have floss bling on here and on my scissors. How cute is that? That was also gifted to me by my friend Laura. Love it. And on the bottom, it's a little pumpkin. Oh, I can't see if I have it backwards or forwards. Oh my gosh. Love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah. Pitiful start there. I need to really focus on that one this fall. I love it. And that is in the Halloween bag. Well, not bag. Project Top Fold folder. There we 
go. Counting pens also that she gave me. Um, and I do have maybe one, maybe two more of those in the shop. Can't remember. Again, we'll do the shop update in a little while. All right, that's that one. Next. This has been on my list so many times to finish. So many times I can't even tell you. Um, started this one also probably in 2020. Summer Signs from Tiny Modernist. Modernist. I can't talk. Um, I was going to do all four, do them in a long finish to put them in a camper. I am almost done with number three, and I think I'm going to call it a day. I just need to finish number three. So let's put them all out here together. Do, do, do. All right. Oops. So one and two at the top are done. And number three, almost done. It's been almost done for two years three years. just need to suck it up and do it. Um, the colors are a little bright for my taste. I mean, I think they're fun, but they're a little too bright for what's in my camper, but they totally go because the camp, the colors are like a teal, like a burnt orange, and um, there's a little bit of green in there, and there's some tan. So, it would go. It's just a little bright, but that's okay. Um, I just need to do it, uh, get it done, get it finished. That's in that one. Tulip pink fabric. Okay. Um, last year start. At least I think it was last year. This is in Sweet Land of Liberty. And we are almost done. I've only got four, five, six more here. Sweet Land of Liberty from Blackbird Designs. And I've done a couple in this book. But the one that I'm working on here is Salute to Abigail. And there she is. In all of her glory. So pretty. Pretty sure it was last year that I started this. I do recall going to um, Barefoot Needle Art for the first time that I had ever been. So I think that was last year. And I let the girls help me pick out my fabric and my floss. I wanted to do a 40 count. This was my first 40 count. And that's the dark cobblestone. This is Weigart. I don't think it's any specific manufacturer. And we picked out Dinky Dye Silk. It was my first foray into silk as well. So that's where I am on that. Decent progress. Not bad. I was going to work more on that this year. And, you know, again, just got super sidetracked on other things. <laughs> it happens, right? Um, all right. That is that one. Oh, sorry. It's living in one of my favorite project bags I've ever made. Love that. That's Minikin Simpson fabric, and that's all I had of that. I never, that was before I started selling them too, but that's all that I had of that. All right, let me put that aside. Um, quick coffee break, hang on. Okay, I'm back. Um, but I don't remember which pile I was on, so let's go back to old pile. And these may very well be abandoned. Um, these are the Sampler of the Month series from Cottage Garden Samplings from a long, long time ago. And I did complete maybe three of them. And I have, I think, three more that are partially done. They're cute. That's July. That's cute. Little oh, Uncle Sam. Love him. Um, they're, again, just not so much my style. They're starting to look a little a little too cutesy to me. That's March. But they're they're adorable. That one's almost done. I really need to do that. Um and then whoops, that one has the thing hanging thread. There's May. So we'll see on that. Those are also on um beige Ada. Not a big Ada fan anymore, especially crunchy Ada. Can you hear that? Isn't that awful? Um, but they're cute, so we'll see on those. I have not decided. That's in that one. I have not decided at all on that. Um, I don't know. Don't know. But that's a woman's prerogative to change your mind, right? Okay, this one <laughs> is a recent start from last year, but it, it might have been a 12 by 12. Here's the colors. Aren't those pretty? I'll put them with the thing because I haven't got very much on this. This is finally fall, and this was from the Annabella's Retreat, fall retreat last year, um, and it's by um, 
Annie B's Folk Art. Sorry, blanking on the name. And I love this. I love the colors in that. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And she later did release this to the public, so you can get this one. Here's my pitiful little start on that house. But those colors are so pretty. I need to pull that out this fall for sure because I love the colors. And I'm stitching this one on 40 count Shrekies Tan, also from Needlebling. And I think I might have answered my question. So it's either going to be... Um, Needle bling if I have one, or <laughs> I already forgot the other one I said now. Um, Grace Notes Fabric. I think I want to join one of those two clubs. But again, please feel free to give me any um, words of wisdom if you have joined any fabric clubs. Um, if you liked them or if you have a favorite fabric. Maybe there's something out there, you know, that I don't know about. I'm sure there are. Because um, I have, like I said, quite a few different ones. I just, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, sorry. And then this one is living in that project folder. Do, do, do. All right. Put that aside. We're almost done. There's like literally like four more. Okay. Um, both of these, actually there's five more I lied. Both of these are living in the same bag. Um, this one. Again, cry and shame, I haven't finished this, and I said this last year at this point, that it was almost done. This was a mystery stitch along from Hands On Design. Too cute, I love it. It was called, I don't remember what it was called, Costume Party. This was the Costume Party stitch along. And there's very, very little, some back stitch and a couple of other little odds and ends, but I'm literally just a few hours from finishing this. And I absolutely love that. And that is on Hmm. I'm going to say 32 count because it's two over two. Um, I am stitching with the call for DMC on that, but I have no idea what the fabric was. But it is living in the same bag as this other one, and this is Jacqueline and Jubilee, also by Brenda Gervais. Lots of really cute ones in here. And I have the little which done and I am working on I'm working on Halloween delivery the one I got done her name is pumpkin brew so that's pumpkin brew she's done and then the delivery is what I'm working on I love these I love those colors they're really pretty they're classic color works and leak style works whoops whoopsies and this is Patriots brew I'm sorry you know what I told you the wrong thing um the snowball was not on winter brew. It was on the same cut of Patriots brew from R and R. So cute! And that's just in one of these little um, meshy bags from Fat Brew Shop. All right, let's put those aside. We're getting to the finish line. I was just talking to my daughter on the phone, and I was telling her what I was doing. And uh, she said, oh, you know, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you when I called. And I said, well, you didn't interrupt. I was ready for a break, you know, after all these whips. And she's like, what do you have, like 12 or 15? <laughs> like, yeah, totally. Um, she's funny. She's funny. She's like, well, I need a bunch. Um, okay, next up. And I do not have a picture of this because this is also a mystery stitch along. And this is a current one. This is from Lola Crow Cross Stitch. And I, this is one of the things that's been taking up a lot of my time because I love it. Look at him. He has little teeth I haven't done yet. And that one's really cute too. Oh, there's a ton of back stitch that still needs to go into this. Um, and I think I am right up two weeks behind. This last release, I don't remember. I think it was up in here. And then there's some corally stuff that goes... I think this away and then there's just some bits and pieces here and there so I am about 10,000 stitches in out of 12 or 13,000 so um, I'm almost caught up there'll be another release on Friday but this has been really fun I have enjoyed this and I will say that her shading that she achieves with the DMC is phenomenal just absolutely beautiful look at those little seagulls how cute are those he's still my favorite <laughs> um, that is living in and that's all DMC I am stitching with all the call for on that and this is the project folder that that one's living in 
I know you guys have seen that one quite a bit recently, but um, I'm trying to stay mostly caught up. So if I don't stay mostly caught up and I get way behind on something that big, I will literally never get it done. Um, okay. Next is, I don't think I have a cover picture of this, but it's almost done. This is called Gnome Love, and it is from Crooked a Go Go. He's so cute. He's almost done too. There's literally, I think, just a little bit more here, and a few hearts or, you know, hoodle lollies right through there. So cute. All in DMC. He's living in that. Um, that was. Camille, Bonnie and Camille fabric from, I started that a long time ago. That one's probably also in that three to four years old pile. Um, all right, one more super old one, and then I have another new one that you guys haven't seen yet. Um, and then these are the month-to-month -month patterns from Stitching with the Housewives. I've, again, completed three or four of these, and these are the ones in progress. That's February, September, and October. I haven't started on any of the little tins for these. The ones that I've completed, I did do those, but on these I haven't. And they all have loose hanging threads, so I apologize now. Um, but they're all mostly done, too. That's October. Very little that I need to do on that. Um, September. Just a few apples, I believe, on that one. And these are cute. Again, you know, not really my style. I probably wouldn't buy it now, but I do want to finish the ones I started. I think they're really pretty. They're really cute. We'll say cute. They're not pretty. They're cute. Super cute. Um, and then February, also almost done. April was almost done, and I finished it the end of March. Um, there's February. These are all on a um, 32 count Belfast white linen. I think I had gotten that at Hobby Lobby back when they still sold linen. Hadn't seen linen there in a hot minute. And they're all using um, all the call for classic color works when I got that kit from them. I'm um, sorry. And then that's living in my little rooster bag. Super old and battered up. It's been in and out a million times. I do find that when I have multiple projects in a bag, especially, um, you know, five and six and seven and whatever, um, that I'm using that same bag over and over again. Those vinyl ones just got beaten up. I think that's the main reason I got away from them. Um, and again, it may have just been my vinyl. It may have been back in the day, I was just using a thin, flimsy, um, what do you call it, interfacing, and not like a foam or a quilt batting. So that, I'm sure, has something to do with it too. I might could revisit making the vinyl bags, but for right now, I'm good. I'm good. I enjoy making the other ones. Okay. And then the last one. Woo! Oh, hang on. Hold, please. These were the colors. Sorry for the Deadly Aquarium. Super fun, pretty colors. And I am stitching it on 32 count. It's a needle bling in the color pistachio. I'll refresh your memory on that. Pistachio from needle bling. Love it. I actually have quite a bit more needle bling than I thought I did. Um, so the last one. This was a new start from the very last day of June. Um, I was participating in the Strawberry Moon Sale from Marjorie Made Stitches. I did get my um, Strawberry Fields Forever completed, which was huge. Um, I, I got inspired to do that thanks to Hannah, um, the Pokey Needle. She had... Um, she was at a similar point than me. We had just some chunks of the metal left to do, and then I had a little bit more of the border. She didn't have to do that, but I did. And she was saying, oh, I really need to get it done. I need to get it done. And so I messaged her, and I was like, girl, let's let's do this together. Let's let's get her done. And we both got her done by the end of June. So that was, that was awesome. Thanks for the inspiration, Hannah. Um, thanks for the original motivation, Marjorie. Um, I did get that one done. Um, but I had this one in mind for when I had gotten done, so I got it in just under the wire for the Strawberry Moon, which was June, and this is Strawberry Fair from October House, and this is where I'm at on that. I only stitched on that for a couple of days, so there's, you know, a good chunk to be done of that. But he's so cute, just so cute, and he lives in this bag, and this is one that I'm pretty sure I have one or two more of these in the Etsy. But again, we'll do the shop update here in just a minute. So, 
Um, whips all done. Whip parade all done. Um, come back in a couple weeks, and I will keep you updated as to what I've been doing. I'm waiting to share all of my haul at that point. I will, because there was a little bit too much in June. Uh, just a little too much and then I had a couple of finishes I will share at that point I'll share you know the whips that I'm working on I have a couple more new starts that I have planned for this week um, I have two of my four kids having birthdays this week so I need to start something new on each of those special days right and I have them both in mind already um, I plan to do some fabric dyeing hopefully soon don't know if that'll happen between now and then but um, that's a possibility and then don't forget to go back to the last video if you want a chance to win that project folder and leave me a comment based on whatever my question was because I don't remember um, and I might not have even had a specific one but it would be at the very end of floss two number 13 um, no giveaway today I will probably do another giveaway next time in honor of my one-year floss anniversary um, I don't think I have any other news to share. Just stay tuned for the project folders. And other than that, yeah, hey, just say hey to me. You know, tell me where you're from. Tell me where you came from. If, because um, I know on the whip parades, we end up seeing a lot of people we had never seen before. So, you know, let me know if you just found me randomly through YouTube or somebody sent you over to me. It's always neat to see where people come from and, you know, find the common ties between us. Um, I think that helps to build the relationships too and you know start talk, start a conversation with somebody it's pretty cool and speaking of starting conversations I am hoping to go to the midsummer stitch whatever it's called um, Lindy stitches is doing this weekend so hopefully I'll see you there um, no idea what stitch room I would end up in because a lot of them sound fun probably the girlies um, maybe thread grim gremlins thread thread gremlins I think's their name um, and there's a couple of others too that I'll, uh, yeah, I don't even know. Probably the girl, at least though. Um, anywho, and I'll wander around some, so hope to see you there. Um, but again, leave me a, you know, a comment where you came from, where you live, anything you want. I like reading the comments. It's fun. I try to respond to all of them. Um, thanks for visiting with me today. I hope that you liked some of what you saw and you'll come back. Please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. And I will see you soon unless you're going to stay for the update. Thanks. Okay, as promised, a update for the Scrappy Chick Boutique on Etsy, um, which I believe is Scrappy Chick Cindy on Etsy. And I will put the link down below. Um, if you're seeing this on Instagram, I will, it, it's already on there. The link is in my link tree to get to that. Um, the link is in my floss tube if you want to see. I mean, it's, the link to my floss tube is also in my, my link tree on Instagram if you didn't catch the full floss tube video. Um, this is going at the end of my uh, midsummer, mid year whip parade. Um, so there's a handful of things in there right now, and I thought I would do a little video. Um, so the bird song folder that I just showed a little bit ago. And I will show how these stand-up ones work if you have not seen it. They are Velcro closures. It is a top fold. On both sides, you're gonna have the fabric pocket. You've also got the vinyl pocket. On both sides, again. And then I attach a couple of little doodads at the top. So one of those is a floss ring so you can hang your floss if you want to there's also a clip a cute little clothes pen and what that is for is you can actually stand up my project folders so that you can I, I'm not going to show you a pattern because I can't do that but you can clip your pattern up in front of you on a table or you know whatever you're stitching on so that you can look at it without having to you know move it back and forth or without having to have a um a stitchy stand a pattern stand i don't even know what they're called so it will stand up on the table just like that so those are big enough to fit an eight and a half by eleven chart in here 
I don't recommend putting them in here. I don't even make that big enough for the charts because they can stick to the vinyl and the heat. And I do use a heavy duty vinyl, um, the nylon zippers. Zipper colors may vary. On this particular one, they all look alike. And I have, I think, two of these left in my Etsy. So that is Birdsong. With that same fabric though, hang on, let me find it. I also had some of the blue, but I didn't really have enough to do those. And um, I had a bunch of scraps of that. So I was fiddling around with, um, I had done that one bag for myself with some scraps for the Artsy Housewife stitch along. And I made this style, which I haven't made in forever. So this is not quilted. So all of my project folders are quilted and they are a thick foam. So they're a little more sturdy. This has no quilting on it, but it does have a heavy interfacing. And they have those same pretty rose gold zippers. All of the insides and the tops are a little bit different. So this one has the floral inside and the orange. Yeah, it has the bird song on the back. And then I have one that has this fabric or this one, one of, one of these two with the blue and then that same fabric on the back. Um, and then there's a third one, I can't remember. I didn't bring them all in here, sorry. But anyway, these are not in the Etsy yet, but they will be, if not before the night is over, they will be by tomorrow at lunchtime. So look for those. So that's gonna be a new style for me. We'll see how those go. Like I said, I haven't made those in years, um, two or three years, in fact, until I made that one the other day. And it reminded me, hey, these are kind of fun too. So um, I'm gonna try some of those out. And that's a good way for me to use up bits and pieces of some of the other stuff that uh, I had gotten for other folders. Um, another top fold, this is the Honey and Lavender. Also with the top fold. And then this is gonna be the same dimensions as that other one. It's about 13 by nine and three quarters. Big pocket in the back. Inside pocket, same on both. I think both of the ones that I have left, I have two of these left, and I believe they both have the gray interior instead of the lavender, I think. Um, same same little doodads on top. I just haven't attached these yet, but that, that will hold the little clothespin and the ring, and that will also stand up on the table to hold your pattern. Look, I don't even think I need to do a video to show it. You can see it just right there. Okay, so that's Honey and Lavender. Two of those left. Um, Monster Mash. I have one of these. Just one. The other one's all sold out. That is, whoops, the regular style of project folder. But I do still do the double pockets on both sides and the vinyl pocket as well on top. All right, that's Monster Mash. He's the last one of that one. Oh, Glory. I was talking about this in my um, in my floss tube, is that I ended up reconfiguring most of these because the top folds, I did not allow for it to be tall enough. Because as you can see on the top folds, they've got to be taller. Oh, that one's really not, hang on. Hold please, I'll find you one. These are more like 13. They're just a teeny bit taller um, and I guess it was that I didn't have enough to get over the top in the configuration that I had. Um, because of the inside top of that, in order to have that stitched and still have a big enough pocket. Anyway, enough of the math. But I have, um, I believe, three of these left, and that's the Old Glory Project Folder. That's the back of that. All right, three of those. Um, this is a new one. This is not in the Etsy yet. This is, um, hmm, I'm trying to remember the name of the fabric. I don't remember. I want to call it Happy Feet. Oh my God. Um, it's like me and my sister's designs. I can't remember the name of the fabric. It's got a fun name. Anyway, so this is also a side fold. Fun, bright colors. Perfect for all your summer stitching. There will be three, possibly four four of these. I haven't decided if I'm keeping one or not. 
um, but definitely three of these. And if they're, again, not listed today, they will be um, by tomorrow at lunchtime. Um, a teeny bit of difference on these. I think we have yellow or pink zippers, I believe. I think that was the only difference on those. Sometimes the product, I mean, the um, fabric placement will vary a little bit depending on the patchwork. But on these, because of what I had, I believe all the patchwork matches, I think. Um, Halloween. I actually have two of these. I couldn't remember if I had one or two left. I have two of these left. I had actually sold through this, and by special request, somebody was like, oh my gosh, I love it, please make more. And so I made uh, quite a few more of these, and there are two left of the second round. Also a stand-up, and that was Halloween. This one went into the Etsy new uh, in the last couple of days. This is etchings. Also a side. I'm storing my um, loose feathers in this one. That stitch along. That's that one. And there are um, two of these. Um, this one, not in the Etsy yet. I literally just got this off the sewing table today. I haven't even trimmed the threads off this one yet. Um, and I'm definitely gonna keep one of these. So right now I've got three of these. And I could make more by special request. I could definitely get some more of this fabric if people love it. I wasn't really sure about Tool Pink if everybody liked it or not. Um, and it's the same. Look at those polka dots. Aren't those fun? Um, zipper colors are going to vary on this. Some will probably be turquoise, pink, lime green. Um, I don't think I had enough of any one color. Um, and then that's also got the little loops. It's going to have those. Like I said, this just came off the sewing table right before the videos. So I haven't, I haven't added the little do lollies and made sure to trim my threads because I still see a couple threads right there. Um, anyway, that is Tool Pink and that is Moon Glow Snake. I do have the owl. Haven't decided which orientation I'm going to make with that. And I have some more Tool Pink too. So there are going to be, like I said, three of these and I can do more by special request. Um, and then the last one, this is my personal one I had kept for me. And the only reason that I didn't sell this one is um, I, I'm, I was trying a, a wider thing. I don't really like it. Um, but I need to get some more of this fabric to make a quilt for my mother-in-law for her birthday because that's what my husband wants me to make for her. So I'm going to be getting more of this fabric. So if anybody would like one of these. Let me know. I can do these by special request as well. And that's that same top fold with all the pockets and the little do lollies up here to hold your clothespin and your floss ring. So let me know on that one. Um, if you do have a special request, you can either go to my Etsy and you can leave me a comment there. Um, I can try to figure out how to do a custom order folder um, on there because I know there is a way. I've seen them somewhere or another. Um, I just haven't really done that yet. Um, or you can leave me a comment down below on my YouTube um, or on Instagram. Um, Instagram or Etsy is probably the best way. Those come straight to me in, um, you know, like notifications at the top of my phone, in other words. The YouTube ones, it may say I have like a notification, but it doesn't specifically tell me that it's a message or this or that. So the best ways would be Instagram or um Etsy because those are easier for me to get to to check immediately but anyway so that's the shop update um come check it out and I will have some more hopefully if not over the weekend next week and thanks so much for supporting my new small business it's been a lot of fun and I've had some repeat customers which has been really cool hope you guys are all loving them um if you have any other special requests that you'd like to see as far as like you know fabric lines um the styles of folders or bags that you like, just hit me up, let me know. All right, thanks so much.